Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. We all know the importance of infrastructure for a regional's holistic development. It plays a crucial role in not just uplifting the economy of the state, but also raising the standard of living of the ordinary citizens of the state. On that note, let us understand the developmental works and mega projects which are slated to come up at the southern state of Karnataka. But before that, if you're new to this channel, I would request you to subscribe to the channel and please like and share the video. Now, Karnataka is a state in the southwestern region of India. It is the largest state in South India and sixth largest in India. It was formed on 1st November 1956 with the passage of the State's Reorganization Act. The capital and largest city is Bangalore, which is also referred to as the Silicon Valley of India. The economy of Karnataka is the fourth largest of any Indian state with Rs 16.99 trillion in gross domestic product. Karnataka has the 19th highest ranking among Indian states in Human Developmental Index. Nearly 56% of the workforce in Karnataka is engaged in agriculture and related activities. Much of the agricultural output is dependent on the southwest monsoon as only 26.5% of the sown area is irrigated. Talking about the most interesting fact of the state is the information and technology. Since the 1980s, Karnataka has emerged as the pan-Indian leader in that field. In 2007, there were nearly 2,000 firms operating in Karnataka. Many of them, including two of India's biggest software firms, Infosys and Wipro, are also headquartered in the state. Exports from these firms exceeded Rs 500 billion, which is equivalent to Rs 1.3 trillion, accounting for nearly 38% of all IT exports from India. Moreover, Karnataka also leads the nation in biotechnology. It is home to India's largest biocluster with 158 of the country's 320 biotechnology firms being based in Karnataka. The state accounts for 75% of India's floriculture and upcoming industry which supplies flowers and ornamental plants worldwide. Hence, the southern premier state justifies its right to be called as the Silicon Valley of India. Now that we have understood the various dynamics of the state, in the next 6 minutes, let us understand the top 5 mega projects which is currently under various stages of implementation in the state of Karnataka. To make it more interesting, we will move in the descending order depending on the nature of project. So fifth up in this high profile list is the Chennai based Avigna Group's ambitious project to establish logistical park in the state in their bid to reduce the logistical and warehousing problems in the state. In the latest developments, Avigna Group will invest around Rs 400 crore during the financial year 2021-2022 to develop industrial and warehousing parks in Karnataka as part of its expansion plan. As per the various research reports, warehousing space is growing at a rate of 12-13% to due to various factors especially a contribution of e-commerce surge. Hence, this has become one of the most stable assets worldwide. Also, demand of warehousing and industrial space will rise in India year on year thanks to global competitiveness in the warehousing sector. Therefore, it is said to be completed by the end of 2022. After its completion, the mega project will lead to employment generation of 1 lakh people directly and indirectly. The fourth in this list is the much awaited Shivamoga Airport. Shivamoga Airport is a greenfield airport to be built at Sogain village which is 8.8 km from Shivamoga. The airport was to be built under public-private partnership with the government of Karnataka. However, due to delays in project execution, the contract was terminated in January 2015. On 15 June 2020, Karnataka Chief Minister B.S. Yedhiurappa laid the foundation stone to start the construction of Shivamoga Airport at the cost of Rs 220 crore. The Chief Minister said that the airport is to be constructed in two phases, will be completed in about a year, which is the first phase. Talking about the latest update on Shivamoga Airport, CM B.S. Yedurappa said that work on Shivamoga Airport is on war footing level, which will have facilities on par with Bengaluru Airport and is in progress and instructions have been given to complete it by next June, that is June 2022. The Chief Minister also reviewed the progress of the work at Sogain village about 12 km from Shivamoga city. The airport will be equipped 
and be next only to Bengaluru Airport to have such facilities. Interestingly, despite financial difficulties, funds have been released and work has been taking place in a very fast manner. After the completion of the mega project, it will lead to all-round development of Shivamogga district as it would encourage more industries to come up and which will in turn generate tens of thousands of jobs. Moving to the third mega project which is the port taxi transport ecosystem. In the states bid to reduce the time consumption while travelling, it has come up with the port taxi to enhance the travel accessibility of the ordinary citizens of Bengaluru. The Bengaluru-based BBMP is planning to roll out port taxis in the capital city. On calculating the ups and down routes, the port taxi route is proposed for about 70 kilometers. A total number of 21,000 pods have been planned for the whole route and 12 major PRT stations have been chosen to be built. Each pod is supposed to accommodate 6 passengers and take them to their destinations at a speed of 60 km per hour. The Port Taxi in Bangalore project is planned to be built and operated as a partnership between public and private sector. The financing is proposed to be taken care of entirely by the private sector and then run the project in collaboration with the BBMP. However, the project is still to hit the flows due to some feasibility compulsions. Without a doubt, if the dream project of BBMP becomes a reality, Bengaluru will become the first city in India to have the port taxi system. Not only India, but the city will gain a recognition in the world as most of the big and modernized cities of the world do not have such facility for serving as a public transport. The system is used at most of the places only as a joyride. Shifting our focus to the second mega project in this list is the upcoming industrial park in Kolar. A 3,200-acre industrial park would be set up in Karnataka's Kolar region after acquiring the huge land from the defunct state-run Bharat Gold Mines Limited. The central public sector undertaking owns 12,109 acres at KGF, part of which could be used for setting up an industrial park. The location is ideal for solar manufacturers, automobile units, electronics and pharmaceutical companies to invest as it is well connected by expressways and railways. The availability of land will be known after the Mines and Geology Department conducts a survey to see if the place has any mineral deposits. If it is free of any major natural resources, then the Karnataka Industrial Areas Developmental Board will take approvals from the centre and begin work on setting up the park. KGF is about 90 km from Bengaluru International Airport, 260 km from Chennai Airport and 314 km from Krishna Patnam Airport and hence is strategically well located. The site has the required infrastructure to set up a full-fledged industrial park and generate tens of millions of jobs for youth in Kolar district. The initiative is part of the state government's effort to attract investments in places away from Bengaluru and take industrial development across the state. The completion date is yet to be decided, but once completed, it will lead to holistic development of the region. Now, moving to the first mega project in this high octane list is the Terminal 2 expansion work of the Kempegoda International Airport situated in Bengaluru. Kempegoda International Airport, the third biggest airport in India, is constructing a garden terminal called T2 to accommodate the increasing passenger traffic. The terminal will feature trees, small gardens, ponds with local species of plants. It is expected to serve approximately 25 million passengers a year. Operated by Bengaluru International Airport Limited, it is claimed to be India's first greenfield airport terminal to be built under a public-private partnership. Construction of the terminal began in 2019. However, the expected completion of Phase 1 is in March 2022. Kempegoda Airport Terminal 2 design details is inspired from Bengaluru's popularity as a garden city. The first phase of the T2 will have a built-up area of 2,55,000 meters square. Passenger ways throughout the terminal will connect the passengers with nature. The ceiling at the entrance, check-in and security area will feature hanging planted belts. The terminal will also feature a large indoor garden with rammed earth walls and waterfalls which will act as a gateway into the densely landscaped retail area. The third storied forest belt offers a unique outdoor experience for arriving and departing passengers. 
it will be well connected to the shopping area. The forest belt will be viewable from all main indoor spaces. Other than these top 5 mega projects, a host of other supersonic infrastructure developments are lined up in the state. The likes of Maiso Chennai High Speed Railway Line, which is easing passengers' travel experience, the toy clusters to generate indigenous production of toy products, along with Bangalore Metro Phase 2 expansion and suburban railways, which are currently under construction, all upon cards. As we have come to the end of the video, I will request you to please like and share the video and also subscribe the video in order to remain updated on various infrastructure developments happening all across the length and breadth of the country. Also, I would request you to write down your favorite mega project among all that we have discussed in this video in the comment section below. Signing off this video with a promise that the next up in this playlist is the wonderful state of Andhra Pradesh, which is located in a highly strategic location. Thank you for watching this video.